Yo, 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 good morning, nation. Shout out to my people, JB, Tony Delgado's in the building, Dangerfield is in the building, Temp, Chaz Edwards, Dominique Five, Dave S. How is everybody doing this morning? Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm going to let everybody pull in real quick. Before we talk about it, you guys already know our last preseason game is Sunday. So let's talk about our final 53-man roster. We haven't done it yet. I was holding on to this as long as I could, but now it's about that time to get to it because cuts are going to be made all next week. So it's time to get to it. Um, shout out to Nizer, man. What's up, my brother? Herman Munster's in the building. Nick 209. Um, Josh, it is sore, bro. It is sore, bro. It's sore, bro. It's sore, bro. But I'm good, though. I'm good. I'm good. Shout out to Aaron Cortez. Freddie Raiders in the building. What's good with you, my guy? Kojo is in the building. Cool, Kev. Yes, man. Let's talk about it, nation. I am excited, man. The final preseason game is pretty much upon us. The regular season is already pretty much here. A few more weeks, and we have real football, you guys. Real, real football. Bruh, I am pumped, man. I've been looking at my itinerary uh, for week one, man, flying to Vegas for the past week and a half, man. Every day I'm looking at the itinerary like, oh, my God, I can't wait. So I know, man, everybody else in the nation is as excited as me. I'm pumped, man. I am in the room. I'm actually getting a big backdrop tomorrow. It's too damn hot in the man cave, y'all. I'm, I'm getting a whole uh, ventilation system in there, air conditioning. So it's going to be a while before I go back out there and shoot. But I'm actually getting a um, nice, nice backdrop with the Oak Las Vegas and the uh, Graphic Raider Shield face on it. So it's going to be pretty dope, man. So we are expanding over here. We are getting better with the quality. Just got to uh, be patient with me, you know what I'm saying? But yes. I'm hyped. I am hyped. Let's get it, man. Sean D is in the building. Raider Dan, let's go. Cool cat. What's up, brother? Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to let, I'm going to wait until the actual, um, I don't know why, man. I, I don't know why it takes so long for, um, YouTube to catch on with it. But once it drops, I'm going to start going, uh, I'm going to start talking about this whole 53 man roster. Let's get it. Let's get it. I just tweeted out everything. All right. It should be popping up anytime, anytime. What's good with my people, man? Spokane is definitely in the building, man. Shout out to my brother, Tony, man. Cool Cat says, Nixon lost and KJ getting cut. So you said you got KJ getting cut. Hmm, all right, Kev. All right. Shout out to Darren, man. Raider Nation for life. Let's go. I hate you, Raiders. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Shout out to uh, Sean, man. Can't wait for week one starting to go crazy, bro. I'm getting I'm getting there too, bro. I, I'm, I'm too hyped, bro. I'm way too hyped, bro. Pastor Raider, what's up, family? What's good with you, my guy? Dave S., players better show up that are on the bubble for this 49er game. This is facts, my brother. Oh, real quick to you guys. Fan show is tomorrow night, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. We are doing a fan show tomorrow. It's going to be me and other fans. We're just going to be on Talking Raider Football. So if you guys do want to be a part of the fan show, hit me on IG at graphic916. Send me your emails. I'm going to try and get as many people on and off as I can tomorrow night. But that is one of my favorite shows. I love to bring the nation on and talk Raider football um, at face value. You feel me? So if you guys are, you want to be a part of the show tomorrow, want to come on with me, um, let me know. It's all love. Also, my equipment should be here as well very, very soon. So you guys can start making phone calls, calling in, asking questions and all that good stuff. I know a lot of people don't like getting on camera or a lot of people just don't have, um, you know, what it takes to actually get on a camera. You know what I mean? I get it. It makes sense. So uh, trust me, we are on the verge of upgrading everything over here, man. So like I said, be patient with me, kings and queens. 
but we're about to have some big things pop off over here, man. I'm actually about to turn this whole room. I'm about to flip this whole room into a recording studio. So we're about to be living here, man. We are about to be definitely lit in this thing. Let's get it. Kojo, you already know, bro. You already know I got it. Benjamin, what's good, King? Brian, what's good, my brother? I know, man. Hopefully, bro. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. Make sure you guys wipe them feet on the way in, man. We're about to start talking about it. I'm going to let us get to 100 people real quick, and then I'll definitely start breaking down the uh, the 50, my projected 53-man roster. Um, good morning. Love this early morning session, Docs. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to Jose as well. Pulling up to the live. Let's get it. Uh, before we pick names, what are the numbers by position? Pretty much, I mean, we we, we usually keep the standard six, right? That's that's where I, I kind of say we keep around six, uh, Nizer. Six pretty much with, with each each position. Shout out to my brother Q, man. Perfect timing. Let's get it, brother. Let's get it. Ricardo, that is a great problem to have, man. This is the toughest cut to 53 in a long time. Great, great problem to have. Uh, shout out to my brother Spotlight, man. Good morning to you as well, King. Good to see you here, brother, in good spirits, man. Why does everybody want to start texting me right when I'm about to go live? Oh, my God. It kills me. Um, oh, this is Stu. <laughs> Stu is stupid, man. Stu just sent me a video of uh, what's the dude name? Dan? That be dancing and shit. Uh, what's his name? Something Dan. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what his name is, bro. Motherfucker be dancing. He said, is this you, bro? <laughs> Fucking stew, man. Dan Rue, there we go. There we go. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Yeah, Temp. There we go. And Graham. Yep. I'm doing well, y'all. I got a video dropping today. I'm happy to be back. We're happy to have you back, my brother. We are happy to have you back. For real, man. For real. Um, shout out to Net. Listen to a few tracks off of Docs of Die. Good shit, man. I'll finish the tape after this live. Appreciate you, my brother. I know my brothers just put together a quick EP and dropped like four songs. We actually have a bunch of other records, too, that we have not dropped yet. And like I said um, yesterday, I will be dropping the Mozzie song uh, for free download, you guys. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated with that. Um, shout out to my brother, Ray, the tape. Doc's doing a live from the casting couch today. You already know, man. We film a lot of porn in this G thing. You feel me? All we missing is that black. Leather couch, ready to tape. You know what I'm talking about. Porn hub's finest, son. Porn hub's finest, son. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to my brother, ready to tape. I got you, Spotlight. I got you, my brother. I got you. I got you. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to start talking about this, man? Let's let's break down this. Uh, you know what? Hey, Ray. Ray, you want to pull up? What's up, bro? You got some time? I'm gonna send you the invite real quick, just just in case. I'm going to send you the invite just in case. I'm about to send that shit to you just in case. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, all we need, all we need is that black leather couch in here. We Gucci, man. I can't even find Ray. There we go. Oh, yeah, you are sick. I forgot, bro. I forgot, bro. It's all love. We'll, we'll get up soon. I totally forgot about that, man. Get better, my brother. Hey, it's going around right now, man. It's crazy. My, my Both my sons, they got a, they got a cough, their no, runny nose, man. I, I, I kept them home today. I didn't even send them to school, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's going around right now, bro. You know what I mean? For real. Shit sucks, bro. Knock Andrew. What's good with you, my brother? All right, let's get to the football talk, you guys. Let's get to the football talk. One more time, man. Ray, get well, my brother. Get well, my brother. All right, let's talk about it. We're going to start off with the most. And you guys, put your comments in the comment section as well, okay? Let's do this as a family. Uh, we're going to start with the quarterback position. I think this is pretty much the easiest one, right? This is pretty much the easiest one. Um, quarterbacks uh, in Derek Carr, Marcus Mariota, Nathan Peterman. Um, I, I, real talk, bro. We keep all three. We keep all three, bro. We keep all three. 
At the end of the day, I don't see us getting rid of any one of these guys. Um, Marcus has not been proven to be able to stay healthy. Nathan Peterman looked like a serviceable quarterback in the first two preseason games. At the end of the day, man, I don't see us cutting Nathan Peterman because at the end of the day, he has been there pretty much since Gruden has came in and he knows the system. Shit, as much as Carr. <laughs> I mean, at this point. So at the end of the day, three quarterbacks, D.C., Mariota, Nathan Peterman. All right. Running backs. I think this is kind of an easier one as well, y'all. I think this is kind of an easier one. Josh is our true number one. Uh, Kenyon Drake is our number two. We already know this, the newest addition to our back, uh, to our running back room. Um, Alec in gold is going to be our fullback. I put him in as a running back as well, because you know, he fits, he's in that same room. Uh, we know Alec in gold is going to be there. Um, he's a monster. I love him. I'm actually gonna get an in gold Jersey this year. That's how much I, I, I rock with him. But we also know that Gruden loves his fullbacks. Um, and Trey Regis, y'all Trey Regis, um, Jalen Richard to me is going to get cut. BJ Edmonds will be put on the practice squad. Uh, Garrett Groshik will be also put on the practice squad. He's our backup fullback. Um, I think that he'll be on the practice squad as well because, like we said, Gruden loves his fullbacks. Just in case Alec Ingold um, deals with an injury like he did last year, this guy dealt with broken ribs last year and still played. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, we I would love to keep uh, Garrett Groshik as a backup fullback on the practice squad so it's josh Kenyon, drake alec ingo trey regis uh jalen's out practice squad bj emmons and garrett groshe what do y'all think about that what do y'all think about that okay okay yeah i see a lot of people saying um <sighs> to jalen i get it i get it all right this to me is a more easier uh one as well man the wide receiver room um henry ruggs starter um brian edwards Starter, Hunter Renfro, starter. Um, John Brown stays. Willie Sneed stays, and Zay Jones gets the sixth spot. There you go, easy. Keelan Doss is out. Marcel Aitman already has been uh, released. DJ Turner, I I really truly believe will make the practice squad. And I think that Dylan Stoner will be on the practice squad as well. I don't think that either one of these guys will make the roster. If they do, DJ Turner. I think DJ Turner will be the one. If anybody else um, trumps any of these guys, I think it'd be Turner because he got, looks like he got the most burn thus far. And he's active in the special teams. Punt, kick, return, boom. Simple as that. Y'all agree with me on that? I'll say it one more time. Henry Ruggs, John Brown, Hunter Renfro, Brian Edwards, Willie Sneed, Zay Jones. Um, Keelan Doss is out. Marcel Aitman's already gone. Uh, DJ Turner, Dylan, uh, Dylan uh, Stoner, practice squad guys. That's what I got thus far. Tight ends. This shit is easy, man. I feel like the offense is kind of easy until you get to the offensive line. Um, Darren Waller is a star. We already know this. Probably the best tight end in the league. Uh, Foster Moreau, the most underrated tight end in the league to me. He is definitely making this roster. There's no buts about that. Um, Derek Carrier will be our third guy once again. Um, out, Nick Bowers, he's gone. Uh, Bushman, I believe, will make the practice squad. Um, I liked how Alex Ellis looked in the preseason um, in, in game two, but I don't like anybody wearing the number 81 and not looking like a damn superstar. I'm sick of it. Raiders, Mark Davis, we have to make a rule. You cannot wear 81 if you are not a star, man. Give 81 to Waller. Don't give 81 to the Michael Rivera's of the world, the Alex Ellis's of the world. Stop doing that shit, man. Stop doing it. Stop. I don't, I don't like that, man. So Darren Waller's in, Foster Moreau's in, Derek Carrier's in, Nick Bowers is gone. Matt Bushman, I like him a lot. I think he will be our future uh, third tight end on his team. Put him on a practice squad. Alex Ellis, I'm going to say, is gone. He's gone. What do y'all think about that? Okay, I see a lot of people agreeing with me. Let's go. Okay, we on the same page. We on the same page. We are on the same page. And I'm going to start bringing in a lot of y'all comments as well. Um, shout out to everybody in the comments section, man. You know how we do. Uh, 144 people, man. Hit that like button. Hit them thumbs up, man. Wipe them feet and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet. 
All right, here we go. This is where it starts getting a little more tricky, you guys. This is where it starts getting a little more tricky. Um, offense alignment. All right. Colton Miller, we already know. Richie Incognito, we already know. Andre James, we already know. Denzel Good, we already know. Alex Leatherwood, first round draft pick. He is making this roster. Brandon Parker will definitely make this roster. He will be the backup right tackle. Um, John Simpson, second year guy. Um, he's going to be definitely backing up Richie Incognito at the left guard position. Um, and Nick Martin, I believe that he will make this roster as well because he's a veteran. He can play center. He can play pretty much all across the offensive line. He's going to make the team. And I got Jimmy Morrissey making this roster as well. Seventh round center out of Pitt. That's who I got. I got three guys that can play the center position. I mean, really, Richie Incognito can play center as well. But um, the guys out, Patrick Amamo, uh, Amame, look, look, we're going to call him Edamame. We know how we do over here. Call him Edamame because the guy look like a vegetable out there, man. Um, the guys on the out, Patrick Amame, Lester Cotton Sr., he looked pretty bad. I'm not a fan of him. Um, Jeremiah Patsase, Patsase, gone. Um, Jared Jones Smith, terrible, terrible. Um, Kamal uh, Seymour, I believe he went on the injured reserve, right? I believe he went on the injured reserve. But um, yeah, Jared Jones Smith out. Um, Lester Cotton Sr. out. Uh, Jeremiah Patasse, I don't even know how to say his damn name. Cut. Um, There's another guy too, I think. Parker uh, Inger. Parker Inger. Gone. In Colton Miller, Richie Incognito, Andre James, Denzel Good, Alex Leatherwood, Brandon Parker, John Simpson, Nick Martin, and Jimmy Morrissey. I think that Jimmy Morrissey is a hidden gem for us. I really, truly do. Um, all right. What, what, what we looking like so far, y'all? What we looking like so far, y'all? Okay, let's get it. You said last Lester's actually played well. I still think that he's a, he's an odd man now. I still think he's an odd man now. And I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I have not been a fan of what, what he's looked like thus far. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Now nah, we good. There we go. Raider way. Raiders. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Um, nah, Q. I gotta keep Brandon Parker. At the end of the day, man, he's still a, you know, a former high draft pick, man, and and he's still young. You know what I mean? I I like Hamilton, but um, I'm going with Brandon Parker for sure. I'm going with Brandon Parker for sure. I think Cotton makes it too. Okay, okay. Well, may maybe he does. I'm just going off of what 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 I'm thinking right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that Le Lester Cotton makes the team. It's gonna be special. Facts, facts. Hey, Docs, is anyone looking at good LBs? We'll talk about that as well, Martin T. In a minute. I'm with it, except I think Morrissey may make it. Oh yeah, I got Morrissey making it. Oh, you don't think he's gonna make it, Nizer? Because I, I got him making it. I got him making the roster. I feel our starting five is solid, but a lot of these guys in the second and third stream make me nervous. This is real, bro. This is real. Shout out to Daryl. I think Hamilton will take the fourth tackle spot. Okay. I like Hamilton, too. I totally forgot about Hamilton. Totally forgot about Hamilton. I'm going to be honest with you. He wasn't even on my list. I forgot that we just, we just brought him back. I know, Docs, but I can have Parker Stamp. Man, bro, I know. I know, bro. I'm you. Well, you know how we are over here. I, I don't know anybody, any real Raider fan that's a, a real Brandon Parker fan. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think that he can be a, a pretty good backup. You know what I'm saying? A pretty good backup, man. Real quick, dude. Let me let me bring in this uh, super real quick, man. I appreciate you, Kev. Missed a few last lives. Raider Nation for life. Keep grinding. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, Kev. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, King. Uh, what up with? The backup left tackle? I'm trying to see. Hold on. No on Cotton. Well, maybe we keep Cotton. Maybe we keep Cotton. I'm just going off what I got thus far. Do you feel me? Put Parker on the left side at least. I mean, look, you can have him over there too. Backup left tackle or backup right. Denzel Good could play right uh, right tackle as well if he has to move outside. You know what I'm saying? So I I think we're pretty good, man. I think we're I think we're set, man. I think we're set on the offensive side of the ball. I don't I don't think there's any way that Morrissey can't make this team though. I like Jimmy Morrissey, y'all, out of pick. You know what I mean? Like he, he's versatile as well. 
He doesn't just play the center position. All right, let's get to the defense. This is where it gets tricky, y'all. This is where it gets tricky. And let me, let, y'all, let me know if the Wi-Fi start geeking because I'm in a whole nother room. Let me know if it starts geeking in the comment section, okay? Because I'm going to have to move around. You know what I mean? Um, James T. Mitchell Schwartz is a free agent. He's going to cost too much, brother. He's going to cost too much. And I don't think he wants to be a backup at this point. He's been a starter his whole career. All right, defensive tackles. Defensive tackles. Let's get it. Jonathan Hankins. Solomon Thomas. Yes, Solly, the GOAT. <laughs> Quentin Jefferson, Darius Falone, Gerald McCoy. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, Matt Dickerson, man, I, I know he's a good special teams guy. He can block some field goals, but I don't think he makes this roster. He just came over from Tennessee. and um, He was a, a free agent, I believe, came over from Tennessee. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't think he makes this roster. He doesn't do enough. Uh, we all know that Darius Steele's uh, we just cut him, but it looks like he will probably be put back onto the practice squad. I know he's going to clear waivers. He's injured. We'll put him on IR, stash him away on the practice squad, and he'll come back next year. Um, and hopefully more muscle, hopefully um, adapts to the speed of the game. You know what I'm saying? Just give him a full off season to figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Darius Stills, we already know he's, uh, he's going to be IR. Uh, Niall Scott, gone. We already know that. So Jonathan Hankins, Solomon Thomas, Quentin Jefferson, Darius Falone, Gerald McCoy. What do y'all think about that? Is Stu in the chat? Is Stu in the chat? I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see Stu. Um, defensive ends, you guys. Defensive ends. This is kind of easy to me. Make sure y'all wipe them feet, man. Hit them thumbs up. I got Max Crosby. Yannick, they're both starting for us, most definitely. Um, Klee, Klee's going to be a defense end. It sucks, man, that he's going to be more of a rotational piece. You never, I said this yesterday, you never want a first-round pick, you know what I'm saying, to fucking, uh, to be a backup. I just, I hate it, bro. I hate it, man. I hate it. But um, Klee's for sure making the roster. Uh, Malcolm Kuntz, Carl Nassib. Those are our guys. Um I want to say Gary Green is going to make the roster as well. I truly do. I truly do. Um, is that really Stu? I don't know. I've never seen that uh, that pick before. Stu, text me if that's you, bro. Um, I don't think Gary Green makes the team, man. We might put him back on the practice squad. Um, and I don't think that Kendall Vickers makes the team, y'all. I don't think Kendall Vickers makes the team. I don't. I, we put him maybe back on the practice squad. I think Green is out, and I think Vickers is out. Max Crosby, Yannick, Klee, Malcolm Kuntz, Carl Nassib. Those are our defensive ends. What do y'all think, y'all? What do y'all think? I don't think that Vickers makes the team either. I don't. And if we somehow, some way, put six in, then then Vickers would be on the roster. But I, I don't see him beating out anybody else on that list. Um, I got, yeah, Max, Yannick, Klee, Malcolm, Carl Nassib. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? And I'm actually looking out, um, looking at real quick. Shout to Raiders Wire. I'm basically comparing mine to to theirs, and a lot of it's, it's a lot of similarities because I think we already really know um, what we have. You know what I'm saying? But shout to Raiders Wire. Um, let me see linebackers. This is where it gets a little tricky um, because we know Nicholas Marl is going to be be on the IR. We already know this. Um, Fuck, man. I'm just looking at this roster, man. Darren Lee is going to be on the IR. We already know this. Javen White is going to be on the IR. Oh, my God. This sucks, bro. We just uh, we just cut Tavon, uh, Tavon Coney um, out of Notre Dame. And uh, I think I think Bilal is next. I think Bilal is going to be gone next. So our linebackers that we're going to br- uh, start the season with is going to be Corey Littleton, Nick Wachowski, who's still dealing with a lingering shoulder issue, um, Divine Diablo, Tanner Muse. And um, Denzel Perriman, that is our guys. Corey Littleton, Nick Wachowski, Divine Diablo, Tanner Muse, Denzel Perriman. That is going to be our um, linebackers to start the season. What do you guys think about that list right there, y'all? What do you guys think about that list? Shout out to Ali, man. I just tuned in. 
from the OZ. Keep up the good work. I appreciate you, Ali. Appreciate you, my brother. For those who have not subscribed to the channel yet, man, please hit that subscribe button. If you guys would like to become a member of the channel, just like my guy George Manley just did, man, I appreciate you, bro. Shout out to you, Ali, as well, my brother. Uh, shout out to George, man. Just became a member. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, hit the link up top. It's pinned up top. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you, George. I appreciate you, my brother. I really, truly do. But um, yes, one more time. Corey Littleton, Mick Wachowski, Divine Diablo, Tanner Muse, Denzel Perriman. In a, some crazy uh, way, we still go get KJ right. We already know he's going to make the roster. This is for sure. Most definitely. Um, shout out to Spotlight, man. Road to 9K. We're almost there, bro. I think we need like 50 subscribers, man. We're 50 away from 9K, man. We're 50 away from 9K. I appreciate every single one of you guys, man, for being here with me. A lot of you guys have been here since day one, and I appreciate you guys, man. When we had no we had no subscribers, when we were going live and having about 10 people on. You know what I mean? We came a long way, you guys, and it's because of y'all. Appreciate you guys. Um, yes, Q, I did. I mentioned uh, Koontz. I have uh, Max, Yannick, Klee, Koontz, Carl Nassib at the defensive end position. Let's go to the cornerback, uh, cornerback room, y'all. Um, I got Trayvon Molin, which we know, starter. Casey Hayward, which we all know, starter. Um, Nate Hobbs, which we all know, starter in the slot. Damon Arnett, um, it looks like he's slowly but surely um, getting getting it back down, man, getting his game intact, uh, getting his game intact, getting ready for the regular season. It sounded like he had a killer day yesterday at camp. You love to see it. You love to hear it. Um, but, yes, Trayvon, Casey, Nate Hobbs, Damon Arnett, um, Amik, Thank God we moved him back outside. Let's go, Amik. Let's get it, baby. Amik Robertson is back on the outside. Um, and I got Isaiah Johnson also making a roster. I know that um, Gus Bradley loves his. I know that he has not played a down yet. He's just. I think he's returning this week against the Niners. Um, but the guy has the length, pause. Um, he has the build, pause, that Gus Bradley loves, pause. So at the end of the day, I still think that uh, Isaiah Johnson makes this roster. That means that Keyshawn Nixon gets cut. Nevin Lawson gets cut. Bleedy Ray gets cut. I got all those guys getting out of here, man. What do y'all think about that? Nate Hobbs starting in the slot. Amit can still move into the slot if need be. Um, and I still think that our neck can still play the slot. I, I really, truly believe, though, I'm going to be honest with y'all, it's going to be between Nevin Lawson and Isaiah Johnson. For some reason, they love Nevin Lawson. But Nevin can play in the slot. So if something happens with, you know what I'm saying, with Nate Hobbs going out, I don't want to say it, but Nevin Lawson can walk right in and, 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 and take his spot. But he also is missing the first two games of the season, and I don't like that. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? A hey, shout-out to uh, Lonnie Luciero. He's another Raider brother from Vegas and going through some stuff. And much love, Graphic. Keep doing your thing. Yes, man. Shout-out to Lonnie. I don't know what he's dealing with. Everybody um, has been online um, sending prayers his way, so I'm going to do the same thing. Shout out to Lonnie, man. Prayers to you, my brother. Um, I hope you get good, even though you blocked me on Facebook. I don't know why you blocked me. I have no clue, <laughs> but that don't mean nothing, man. Prayers your way. Things are big. Some things are bigger, you know what I mean, than social media, man, and life is one of them. So a uh, shout out to you, Lonnie. I appreciate you, my, um, my brother, for everything you do for the nation, man. I know you're a diehard. And shout out to you, Brendan, as well, my bro. That's my little bro in real life, man. Shout out to my brother, Counts. I appreciate you, man, on the Donation King. Also, man, shout out to Juan, bro. Just became a member of the channel. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much. I'm going to say it one more time. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, the link is uh, up top. But, um, yes, Trayvon Molin, Casey Hayward, Nate Hobbs, Damon Arnett, Amik Robertson, and Isaiah Johnson. That's who I got thus far, man. That's who I got thus far. Um, Nixon does need to be gone, bro. This is facts. This is facts. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I, I trust me. I'm going to bring all you guys' comments in. I just want to go through this list real quick, and then we're definitely going to bring uh, uh, bring some uh, bring some comments back in, and we're going to talk about it. That's why I, I kind of Raider had a little Nevin Lawson and Isaiah Johnson. It's going to be between them two. It's going to be between those two guys. I just feel like Gus Bradley loves Isaiah Johnson more than he does Nevin Lawson. Um, but that nickel position is going to be a little, ah, if something happened to Nate Hobbs. Got to knock on wood for that. 
Um, yo, Dots, can you get an interview with Kirk Morrison? Yes, me and uh, Stu are actually working on that right now. We're actually working on, a, on that right now, my brother. Shout out to Central Cali. It's all love, man. Stay up. I appreciate you and all your content, man. Thanks for the shout out, even though the blocking stuff, I didn't know about that. It's all good, bro. At the end of the day, man, it's all good, bro. It's all good. I, I really have no idea why, but it is what it is. Um, yes, Walt. And this is this is why I did what I did with the nickel position. So we're gonna we're gonna get to the safeties right now, y'all. Shout out to my brother Walt. Safeties, Jonathan Abram, we already know, Trayvon Merrick. Tyree Gillespie, well, which can play in a slot as well. And I, I, I have no doubt in the world that uh, Tyree Gillespie is going to get a lot of reps um, in the slot. Also, keep an eye on some packages where Carl Joseph and Abram are out there together and you have Trayvon Mary playing in the slot because he can play in the slot as well. So that there's a lot of other guys that can man that slot position as well. You know what I mean? That play safety and that play in other positions. So I'm not too worried about it. But um, yeah, shout out to you, Walt. You already you read my mind, brother, because that's exactly where I was going. Safeties, Jonathan Abram, Trayvon Merrick, Tyree Gillespie, Carl Joseph, um, Dallin Levitt, and Roderick Teamer will not make this roster. But I like what Teamers looked like thus far in preseason. Um, I would love to bring him on somehow, some way, um, at least to be a special teams guy. I don't even care because team – shit. Man, Stu is hitting me up right now, man. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me let me let me tell Stu I hit him right back. Hit you right back. You are not gonna let me uh you are not gonna let me hang up on you, huh? It's all it went right to voicemail. Dude, you're not reading any of my messages, man. Yeah, Raider Nation. I know how y'all feel now. He doesn't read messages worth a shit. <laughs> I'm actually reading my list real quick, and then I was going to get to it. You want to come on? Yeah. I'm going to send you the link right now. Bye. Fucking Stu. Oh, hold on real quick, man. Shout out to the uh, to the new members in the chat, man. Shout out to my brother, Hal Williams. I appreciate you, King. Thank you, my brother, for uh, becoming a member, man. You have no idea how much that helps the channel, my brother. I truly appreciate you, King. And we have one more. I think we see we have one more. Um, I don't know where the hell it went. I said Juan. Shout out to Juan. I appreciate you, my brother, for becoming a member. I could have swore I seen one more in the chat. Maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I'm tweaking. Okay. Okay. There we go. Shout out to my brother Hal, man. All right. Let me send this over to uh to Stu real quick before uh I don't want no smoke with Stu, man. I don't want no. I don't want no smoke with Stu. And then um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go with my special teams real quick as well, y'all. And that's that's the easiest part. All right, sent it over to Stu. And uh, specialist Daniel Carlson, kicker, uh, punter AJ Cole, uh, long snapper Trent C. Simple as that, right? Simple as that, y'all. Simple as that for you, man. There we go. There you go, Daryl. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, man. What do you guys think about what I got thus far? Shout out to Raiders Wire. I appreciate them for putting their list together. I mean, to be honest, I, I had a few different things than they did, but um, they had a solid list. And to be honest, I pretty much went off of what they had going on. Um, you feel me? But it's pretty much the same shit. Uh, Hal, what's up with you, big dog? What's good with you, my guy? Uh, laugh out loud. Nah, Docs is probably the best at reading comments and interacting with the chat game. Yeah, yeah, I usually am. This was just something that I had to read, man. I had to read the list first. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of difficult to read and then read y'all comments at the same time. Now, this is the time, the portion where we actually read everybody's comment and we get to it. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. Also, shout out to Raider Kojo, my brother, as always. I appreciate you, King. I love and appreciate you, man. Thank you for everything you do for the channel, my brother. For real, for real, man. Um, what's good with you, Stu? Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, nothing. You guys breaking it down, huh? Yeah, man. It's about that time. It's the last preseason game this Sunday, man. So I was like, you know what? Why not do? It's Sunday. Sunday, last one. Yep. Sunday. Oh, really? Sunday. Okay. 
Sunday afternoon, man. Yes, I sir. stopped in. I stopped in the Jack. I said, "What's up to Jack?" Last night, I, I seen that. I popped in last yep. minute. I popped in last minute. I didn't. I was everybody like, was saying was, that there was a. The reason why I wasn't reading your shit was everybody was saying somebody was saying that there was a fake uh, stew. Hey man. So, so I'm telling you right now, you don't know, bro. This whole world, look, brother. With the real school swagger, please stand up. Yeah, I don't know. Well, so hey, so get this. So last night and this morning, remember I told you I was plotting. I, I got a, a little um a thing like this, like you got a stream yard. Yo, you you downloaded it? Yeah, I did, and I'm setting it up right now. Yes. You you, you need me to help you out with it? I think I the only thing I can't get, I won't let me put a video on. What do you mean? You trying to upload you so so you don't upload videos to um well no, it says it says like it says a little thing in there where it says you can upload like a, a 10 minute video to kind of play in the background and stuff when you're doing things. Okay, I'll, I'll call you after this. We'll, we'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Let's I think, go, no, I think I'm good, though. I think I'm good to, to get it up and running. Let's go. Hey, real quick, man, for those who have not subscribed to our brother, Stu, he has a YouTube page. It's under his name, Stuart Schweiger. Go to YouTube and follow him. He's going to be dropping content all year long. Shout out to my bro, Stu. What's up, man? What's hey, today? Hey. How many guys are they cutting it down then right now? So we're at 80... Are we at 80 right now? We're at 80. Oh, okay. 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 So you're talking about after this game. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought they were making cuts today. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll start okay. making them next week. I believe Tuesday. I think Tuesday. Uh we'll start. We'll start pretty much doing that. Hold on real quick, man. Let me get uh no call. shit. It'll probably be Monday morning. Maybe. I know they that get, I think they, they get them dudes up, up out of there. I think they have to be done by Thursday, right? Before Thursday before the opener? I think they have to be done by Thursday or two. It's Tuesday or Thursday of next week. They have we have to be down to the 53 man roster. Spotlight. Check your check your DM on IG, brother. Put you up sure they don't play on Saturday? Let me go find your YouTube real No, it's Sunday, brother. It's uh, Sunday, it? three o'clock. Let me get you, let me get your YouTube real quick so I can put it up. Everybody, everybody's asking for it. Real Who, quick. mine? It's just Stuart Schweiger. I know, but I'm going to put the link inside the comment section. Hey, did you, did you get a chance to look at that video at all? <clears throat> That's the NFL Films video I got, finally. Did you put, you put it up? I said, I, I uh, texted it to you. Oh, no, no, oh, no, I see it, bro. What? No, my phone's been acting up. I don't know if it's the weather or the humidity, but stuff's not going through. Oh, you know what? It's that little, okay, it is. It's that little, that little. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. so I got it. I got it, brother. I got it. Um, top, hold on real quick. Shout out to Samoan, man. Samoan Raider, appreciate you, my brother, as always. Definitely you know, sub to the... Yeah, definitely UCE. sub to the Oost, too, man. Shout, what's, Oost. what's UCE? That's Oost. That's, that's, that's that Samoan slang for my oh, brother, Oh, Oost? Man. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and you, if you don't know, Stu, because I know you're still new to the YouTube world, this is our brother, Samoan Raider, man. He's one of the most um, popular... Raider YouTubers. Man. On YouTube? Yes, good guy. My brother has like 30,000 subscribers. My boy's doing his thing, man. Shout out to my brother, uh, Simone Raider. Go subscribe to him as well, Stu. Um, he puts I will. I, I don't want to. Well, I don't think. I probably won't go on now because won't it echo or something? Or Yeah, yeah. Don't fuck around. I, I'm going to send you the link. I'll send it to you. Samoa? Samoa? Samoa yep, Samoan Raider. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, Samoa, we got to do a... Uh, we got to do a live here soon, man. Let me know if you got some time too, bro. I'll pull you in right now. We can talk about so, it. So, yeah. So, um, I talked with Ray Buchanan yesterday. Okay. What's going on, Ray? Get this. So, his son, his young, youngest son, Jordan Buchanan, who's a senior down in Georgia, he might commit to Purdue to play corner or safety. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, shit. So, Jeff, Jeff Brom was Ray Buchanan's quarterback in college. The head coach okay. of Purdue, uh -huh. so there's that connection there, dude. So yeah, I was super pumped to hear that. So I'm, I'm gonna steadily, I'm gonna try to get Raybu to come on. That's dope, bro. I would love yeah. to bring him on, man. Huge it's hard for out. Kirk because Kirk, I think, is doing the NFL stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a lot right now. I know. Uh, I reached out to him on IG. He hasn't he hasn't seen the message yet, but um, I know he's working for is it CBS Sports or something, it's something like that. Or, CBS or Fox or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of them. So I, I know I don't know how that works with trying to do other shows and especially you know how we get down over here. So I don't. Well, know I mean, obviously, you know, I to be honest with you, 
we got. I, I want to kind of. Not. I don't want to get too crazy now that the season's happening. You know what I'm saying? I want to. We'll have fun, but I also want it to be serious as well. No, no, most definitely. And we, we the lot. But hey, bro, the live we do in Vegas when we get out there, bro. I'm letting you know, bro. Uh, we about to get fucked up. Um, I've been peeping to see like what celebrities and stuff are gonna be there. I'm gonna be hitting I'm, all of them up. I'm about to get look. Hey, I went and got that. I got my first joint. What is it? I went and got my first. Uh, my oh first yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so hey, I, I, I can get the man. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's been reaching out to me saying they got a ticket for me. I'm like, you know what? I may, I may have to go into the game, man. I may have to go into the game. Um, shout out to Pern. He said, "Graph, they fucked up my membership." I tried to comment earlier, and instead I had to create a new channel to comment. When did my, when I did my membership was gone? Oh, I don't know what happened, brother. I don't. YouTube be YouTube be tweaking, bro. Pern, do you have to put a credit card on? How do you pay for it? Yeah, yeah. You just you just you do it like a once it's a once a month thing. You, there's like three different tiers. You can do two ninety nine, a six ninety nine, or like twenty four ninety nine. So what about me? Because I paid for a whole year of me having my own thing. Does that get me to be able to? No, you have no. to go separately to each channel if you want to become a member. Okay. Of, it's like a subscription to Hulu or or Netflix okay. or shit like that. Hey, shout out to my brother Hal Williams. I run with Kojo in the box. To spell Abrams and spell Abrams. What do you think? Hey, I would love to see Carl Joseph in the box. He would eat a lot too. Remember, uh, I was telling you about Carl Joseph played at West Virginia. Hitman, small guy, can fucking hit like shit. I would love to see Abram in uh I want to see Abram and Kojo in the box this year. I'm just for whatever reason, I just gotta, I just gotta my spidey senses went off that I think there's a lot of hype behind Abrams, man. We're expecting a lot out of him this year, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean everyone's right. kind of commonality is like. So and so, so and so, Abrams. So and so, so and so, Abrams. You. Yep. No, for real. I want to see what Abram can do. Shout out to Spotlight, man. What's up, my brother? Hey, my brother is home from the hospital. No more COVID nineteen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's what's go. up? What's up, family? What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? I'm back, man. I'm back. What's up? It's good to see you. you got the Oak Las Vegas uh, Al Davis shirt on. I appreciate you. Of my course, brother. you know I had to wear it. You know, Brit, you know how to wear it because you know I got a video dropping at twelve, so I had to rock here. the shirt. You know what's going dude, on, dude. I like I like the backdrop, man. You're like, are you in the fucking stadium right now or what, dude? <laughs> Damn. Hey, well, I just you know it's, 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 it's the just green screen, man. Though. It's the green screen. I found this uh, background on YouTube. I mean, on Google. That's a green like, screen. A green screen, yeah. man. Yep. That look, I can't, okay, that's tight. I just ordered one too, bro. I'm gonna have a little background because I can't do the garage no more. The lighting is terrible and it's too fucking hot. So, oh, I yeah, you. yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel you. It's way too hot, man. Uh, Samoa says, man, hey, shout out to Hal one more time. I appreciate you, my brother, on the donation. Um, uh, Samoa says, good to see my ooh spotlight back home, man. Man, it, it feels <laughs> good to be back home, man. It feels good to be back home. I'm comfortable. And I'm able to, you know, give y'all the Raiders content that I've been given before I left. I'm here, 10 days of quarantine being in a room, feel like a solitary confinement. It was <laughs> one of the most terrible experiences, but God bless me. The nation would have my back. I'm here, man. I I'm ready. I'm ready. I can't wait to go live for the game on, on Sunday. It's going to be lit. I can't wait. Talk that shit, bro. What was the first thing you did when you were out of quarantine? I slept. Oh. Well, no, no. When you got out, when you got out, and were able to do some shit. I went, I went home and went to sleep. To tell you, oh. being in being in the room for ten straight days, eating nothing but hospital food, and you're not seeing the outside at all. I went home and rest. I slept yeah. for two straight days. Yeah, hey, it's hard to sleep in the hospital. You hear all those buttons and all that shit going off all night. I'm waking up at out. waking up at four thirty every morning just to draw blood. Like that's yep. it was it was crazy. Hey, let me let me ask you this real quick because I know Stu is still getting uh, familiar with our roster right now. I want to ask you this: Did you did you see every did you see my fifty three man uh, projected roster? Did you see? Most I watched of majority of it. I was in and out, but I watched majority of it. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you real quick. Let's 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 go through this list if you if you don't mind. Okay, cool. Quarterbacks, all three. Okay, boom. They stay in. Running back. Mario the Peterman car. They all stay in. Running backs. Is Jacobs, Keon Drake, Regis, Jalen Richard is out. Um, 
I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if John Gruden pick up a fourth running back. I wouldn't be surprised but, because uh, Jalen Rashard. You got the angle in there. You got the angle in there. So he's like three. But he's like three, three million for Jalen Rashard right now. Three and a half. Yeah. So I think they could probably bring up a, a bring another running back in and be cheaper than Jalen Rashard. I wouldn't be surprised if he picked four running backs. I well, wouldn't you gotta, be surprised. You, you have to put Allen Ingold in there as well. Yeah, Ingold's considered a – yeah, okay. So, yeah, it'll be four running backs – well, three running backs and a fullback. So, that'll Edmund, be four Ed, on the roster. I got Edmonds on the practice squad. I think that he can come in if somebody gets hurt as well. I think that'll be our fourth yeah, back if something happens. I love Edmonds. I like, I like the way low. he played the last two weeks. So, yeah, I definitely like Edmonds. Okay, what receivers are out? This is a tough one. Even though I, I did watch the presser late by Greg Olson saying that wide receiver is going to be a difficult place to you know players to cut. I it's I, I don't I really I think Keelan Doss is out. Yeah, he's gone. I think Keelan. I, I love Keelan Doss and I love Aitman. Aitman was already gone, but I think Keelan Doss is out. I think you keep the experience with Sneed and John yeah. Brown. Yeah, and then you have. Rugs and Brian Edwards, that's a given. We already know that. For sure. But um, I think Stoner makes the team too. Oh, okay. So so that that okay, that's the surprise right there. Because I think you know, I think I think they're gonna keep a lot of receivers because we don't really have Brian Edwards is still an unproven number one. Yeah. So we're gonna keep a lot of receivers, even though Renfro, we already know Renfro is gonna make the squad. I yeah. say we keep at least six receivers, at least six. I got Zay Jones. Look, Zay Jones has been looking great in camp. I mean, he See, always that's great another thing too. Like Zay Jones is there. If it's if it's six or seven receivers that we keep on the roster, they gonna be used in different ways. They might be put in different positions too on on the offense. You just never know with John Gruden cool. in his offense. So yeah, yeah. How how many receivers do you usually keep? What would you keep on the roster? I was just. You know what? Hold on. I was just thinking that. Hold on. I'm going to grab an old program and just take a look. Okay. Bet. I think right. for me, I think six, I think six receivers is six, yeah. five or six receivers is enough. But the question is, who do you put on the practice squad? That's going to be the hard part. Cause I don't think Zay Jones goes to the practice squad. I don't I, see I, that. No, no, no. Hell no. I got Turner. I got Turner and Stoner. I got yeah, Turner and Stoner going to the practice squad. But but you but 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 you still have him as a surprise. Where Stoner can as make a surprise. Up. Got you, got you. Okay, we're on the same page. Yeah, I, we I, we, I, we on the same page, brother. Turner, we got Turner's it. more, but Turner's more of my surprise because he he can return. He's you know I mean he's, he's punt returner, kick returner. I don't want to see Renfro or Rugs or or anybody else out there ret- returning kicks. That's why I think Turner may be that guy over Stoner because he can do okay. a little bit. He's more versatile. You know that what I'm saying? Sense. Uh, real quick, shout out to Mr. Riley, man. Top of the morning, fellas. Good to see you doing better, bro. Keep doing your thing, family. Appreciate you, Riley. Appreciate you, my brother. Go ahead, Stu. Five. Appreciate it, yo. Appreciate five. the support. So you guys kept five? Yep. And then oh, you're, you're, you're going to have a couple gonna, on practice squad. That's going to be – That's I'll tell you, it's going to be a tough position. Five. Yep. But you know what, I, though, know I mean, Gruden. Go ahead. For, for receivers – you can find receivers though. You know what I'm saying? Like if a guy gets out, you can receivers kind of that position where there's a lot of them out there. You know what I'm saying? It's like D tackles and offensive linemen and a good Mike linebacker. Some of those positions are hard to fill. Mm-hmm. So I'm not real worried about the, the wide receiver position. I'm gonna okay. See. All right. So I'm not even going to go to the offensive line because I think we kind of, we already know who our starting offensive line is. There's some backups that I'm I'm very just ah, uh, um, you know what? Let me I'm, I'm gonna bring this back up real quick. I'm gonna bring it back up for those. Oh yeah, hold yeah, on. I want to see on. the. I think I missed the office line part, Docs. Hey, we got we got another uh, we got another guest about to come on here in a second too, y'all. Um, let me see. Okay, I, I'm gonna read that list. I'm gonna read that list one more time to you. Okay, this is I'm going off of Raiders Wire. And I kind of did my little spin on it. They got Colton Miller, Richie Incognito, Andre James, Denzel Good, Alex Leatherwood, Brandon Parker, uh, John Simpson, Nick Martin, and Patrick Amamame. I'm not putting him in there at all. Amamo, oh, like, absolutely uh, not. Uh, he gone. was garbage in the preseason. I basically took him out and put uh, Jimmy Morrissey in. 
I think Jimmy Morris is still. I think he's so underrated. You Me don't too. see a lot of him. Me too. But if you watched him at Pittsburgh, he was a monster there, man. Yeah, bro. Like this, but there's no way a mom can make that team, bro. He, he no, he, he if he makes the team, I don't know what they, I don't know what the Raiders are seeing in him. Yeah, bro. So basically, um, that's that means that Lester Cotton Senior is out, and that uh, Patrick Amame is gone, and Jared Jones Smith, which has been terrible, is out of there. Um, See, but the good thing about our offensive line is that even though that Nick Martin is a center, but he plays other positions too. Hey, real quick, I like this question. Yeah, and you're right. You're right, Spotlight. Shout to Kojo one more time. Spotlight, welcome back. I'm glad you're at the hospital. Good stuff, my brother. Thank you, Raider Kojo. Kojo. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank to everybody that inboxed me on Instagram, you know, Facebook, everything. I really appreciate all the love. Even though I didn't respond, I still sent the heart. I still sent the love. I appreciate it 100%. Hey, real quick, man. Stu, VGK wait, wait. wants to. Go ahead. What he just said, what he said, he said, I couldn't get to all of them, but trust me, I show love. Remember we talked about that? Yeah. That was you good. That. That's what I do too. I get so many messages. I made sure I hit that love button to let mm -hmm. people know, at least I acknowledge it and thank you yep. very much. You know right. what I mean? It's very hard to re fucking re reply to every single thing. I try. And I know you do. I know both of you guys do it now. I was getting mad that little three minutes you were ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I was like, oh, you missed the first two. Come on now, uh, God damn it. Sometimes graphic is, is sometimes it's get hard to get in touch with graphic. No, I, mean, I know, I know, I know. He 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 see the text message, but he gonna get back to it about five hours later. He gonna get will, back to it. I will, man. <laughs> hey, hey, busy, busy is a is a great thing to be. I'll tell you that, man. You know what I mean? But you know, I love both of y'all, man. I'm always gonna get back for sure. Stu, set your ass up. I'll be calling you sometimes too. And, and you be gone for five days, motherfucker. I know. I, I'll go, dude. I I I I gotta take care of the family, man. Four kids and stuff. I, I gotta I have to uh uh compartmentalize, man. Like it's when I got my time to do this, I got my time to do this, but when it's family time, dude, I gotta I gotta stick with that because I'm a homemaker, man. I do the laundry. Hey, oh, hey, well, what's oh, good, you know? We got Hello, the man. guys hear me? In the building. What? What's up, Stu? What's up, uh? <laughs> man? Good to see you back, man. I I, th I thought I had to come by. You know, I'm over here like writing my script, and when I see my boy graphic, I'm like, hey, I gotta stop by and say what's up. You know, he always come through for your boy, so why Shout not? Out you know, my brother, man. Some appreciate, man. appreciate it, man. Thanks brother. for coming on. Up. What you got going on, bro? Nothing, bro. Like I said, I was just, I was actually writing my stuff for the, the video I was gonna drop today, but that's about it. Where do you live? I live in SoCal. It okay. Is, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I'm from Long Beach, so somewhere around there. So basically. Shout out to my guy. And you were at the game, bro. How was the game? We, we didn't really get a chance to talk about that yet. How oh, I the LA game? game? Yeah. Hey, it was it was lit, bro. I, it was a lot of Raider fans out there. It almost felt like a home game. It was our it's basically our vacation home, you know. Yeah, away from the legion mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i see i seen a post on instagram uh that uh they call sofi stadium allegiant west now so <laughs> you know, it's, it's our home away from home but it was lit there was a lot of your fans out there I mean, I mean you could hear it uh during the game so i mean yeah shout out to everybody in the chat man they're excited to see our oops man uh samoan bro hey are you you're gonna be out there right week one too right uh yeah that's that's the plan that's the plan to be out there I mean, I can't go to the game now, you know, but uh, <laughs> uh, but I'll be out there, try to experience it one I know you say you're going to be out there too, so yeah. we got to look up some, somewhere somehow. Definitely, well, definitely. Would you say you're going to be with Cody though, right? I'm going to go link up with Cody. I know Mitch is out there. I'm going to go link up with Mitch. He has uh, something going on, and then me and Stu going to definitely link up. I think, uh, I think Ruckus might be out there too. R Ruckus said he's going to try and make it out there as well. I don't know if it's for Black sure, Widow's going to be out there. Yeah, yeah, Black Widow. Black Widow's always gonna be, and Cap, Cap's gonna be out there too. I think. I think Cap is gonna be out there as well. So, um, shout out to LM real quick. I, I, that was a, a Chiefs fan right there. I appreciate you for the donation. I didn't really want to read the uh, the comment because you know we don't really support the Chiefs over here. You know what I'm talking about? We actually really don't at all. You know what I mean? But I'll, I'll take your money, brother. You feel me? So it's all love. Um, you know I mean? But um, shout out to LM. This live is MVPs. I appreciate you, love, as always. Um, let me see. This is Michelle says, Stu. She says, Stu, you a homemaker? Where do I find one of you at? <laughs> hey, can you call my wife and tell her that? <laughs> <laughs> I cook, 
I clean, I do the dishes, I do the diapers, the house is paid <laughs> off, I ain't got no debt, the cars are paid off, kids' colleges are paid off. So hey. that's cool. talk that grown man shit. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, so uh no, uh yeah, I, actually, you know what? I like it's like therapy for me, like it's relaxing to do kind of mundane stuff where I'm not thinking about anything, you know. So during the day, I, the kids are all at school, so I'm just here with the dogs, man. So I gotta stay busy. Idle hands do the uh, the devil's work, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta keep, I gotta keep uh, dish uh, uh, soap and um, rags in my hand rather than forties and uh, wine bottles. So hey, Stu, hey, you're, already, wax on, wax on. Uh, you're already inspiring the youth, bro. We got Tyler Raider right here saying, "I'm ready to quit my job and be a homemaker. Drop the kids off and play Madden all fucking day." Let's go! That sounds lit. Hey, this is a job. Well, me, that actually, me, me and the little man yeah. yesterday, my two youngest, we watched, uh, I got them these, uh, you know, like the toys that are like, they're like the kind of the adult toys, um, like figures whoa, whoa, or whatever. Whoa, 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 <laughs> that was like whoa, adult whoa. toys. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got yeah. <laughs> Bro, you guys, it's too early for that shit, bro. We talking about? He said, "No, bro, it's uh, it's already what? It's only eight o'clock over here in the morning." Hey, our draft is in seven days, Samoan. Huh? Our our, our, uh, our draft is in seven days, right? Yeah, yeah, September fourth. Okay. Damn, seven hey, days. Do me a favor, send me uh your PayPal again so I can send that over today. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you, boss. Appreciate you, bro. Oh God, Godzilla! Oh, Godzilla. Oh, okay. so it's like it's like the toys are like you know, they're like Bigger. really really detailed and stuff that came from Japan. Oh, those. So we of want, here, my my yeah, buddy and my son and us had uh, King Kong versus Godzilla on yesterday, hanging with the toys here. So these adult toys, <laughs> you perverts. <laughs> hey, I'm like, hold on, I'm like, hey, bro, I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about, man. Gosh. Hey, 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 Simone, are you dropping the 53 man uh, projected roster, brother? What are you gonna do a 53 man roster projection or no? A video, not uh, probably not, bro. Uh, because I'm gonna just get into the pregame uh video today and then the lives on Sunday and then a recap after that. But by the time like Monday comes around or Tuesday comes around, they're already gonna drop the, the yeah. players that right. Uh, Tuesday, yeah, I think, yeah, is the, yeah. the deadline or something like that. So, Tuesday or Thursday is one of those days I know. That's okay, okay. I oh, yeah, they might, they might, they might. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's usually Tuesday, but I feel like this week might be a little different because they have more players to drop, you know. Other I don't, than the I other don't man, because dude, they're gonna want to get those guys because by Thursday, dude, you're already in the you're already in the game plan and stuff, man. Yeah, wanna, getting ready for I'm the next. Say probably yeah. Tuesday by shit three o'clock. I bet it's gonna be done because they're gonna that, practice that, on that Tuesday. You do feel when you, when you're playing like like they cut like the early, get the hell out. Well, of here. we always we always had the last preseason game was on a Thursday. Then you had the long weekend, and mm -hmm. then you come back on that Sunday and start – or, sorry, that Monday, and then get the week going. So they're doing it a little bit different. But the Raiders, actually speaking of now, they have that Monday night game, so they probably do have an extra day in there. No, but I, I, I do I do think it's Tuesday because it gives uh, the players that get cut some time to get picked up from other teams too. But for yeah. so, other teams, yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to get into the system. and So I, I could see that happening. I mean, but You guys Tuesday were right. Might. Yeah, Watts Watt just said Tuesday's cut day, so you, you guys were right. You guys were okay. Right. If Watt um, says it, it's true, yeah, Watt, that's Watt, a shitty day, boy. That's a shitty <laughs> day. Uh, imagine I'm those guys right. that have to tell them that they they're not a part of the team, bro. Oh my god! Well, but, yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not really dropping anything though. Oh, so uh, have you? Is. What What are you surprised? Who's Who's your surprise cuts and who's your surprise guys that could potentially make the roster? Some guys that you that people are like, whoa, right. like holy, like damn, I haven't surprises. I mean, I told you before a surprise cut that. For me, like on a defensive side, would be like Solomon Thomas. Okay. Uh, especially because I've been supporting him a lot. But I mean, there's so much depth on that defensive line. Yeah. Uh, Darius yeah. Phylon has yeah. been looking good on the defensive line. Yeah. That's a guy I didn't even know about till you guys told me about him, and he's been showing now. Uh, on the offensive side, maybe like one of the wide receivers, maybe Willie Sneed or John Brown. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but I, but I don't yeah. see that happening uh, either because they didn't even get any PT during well, a preseason. Like, so yeah, I feel like their, their job is secure. So I mean, I haven't really looked into any surprises. What, what, about, um, what about any surprises like like Dylan, like Stoner or Turner making the team? What, what yep, what's a yep, guy yep. that you so, like? Whoa, no, yeah, no, they're doing good. Um, I, I heard um, Stoner has been getting a lot of love lately. Uh, I know, I know, I heard you earlier saying that Turner could be a return man. Uh, so 
I, if if I had to see one of those guys make the team, I think Stoner most likely would make him okay over Turner. I, I mean, that's just me though. That, that's what Spotlight got the same. He got it the same way. Yeah, right. I got Stoner, but even though that DJ Turner's been looking good in in returns, um, and and in preseason, either one, either one is fine with me yeah. at this point. I just think Turner does more. Like I said, you, you, you get him but, you get pump or Turner and all that. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I, I said in my video yesterday, um, I I do think that the Raiders are going to keep six wide receivers on the roster. but And that's not having uh, Stoner or even Turner on the roster. I have uh, Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, Hunter Renfro, Zay Jones, John Brown, and Willie Sneed. And that's already six right there. Yeah. So I feel like if anything, Stoner, Turner, and uh, Keelan Doss – they could be on the uh, practice squad if anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's the that's the most I see them doing. Like I, I don't see them making the roster to be honest. I'm gonna ask you the same thing that I asked by like who who's who's your running back room? Uh, I think it's quite simple. I think it's obviously Josh Jacobs and uh Kenny and Drake and um Trey Regis. There we go. Uh I don't know if they're gonna keep Richard or not, or just keep him on IR. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I feel like Regis earned his spot on the roster already, and then Edmonds could probably go on the practice squad as well. And then if you want to throw in Alec Ingold, of course, I mean. Yeah, yeah. He, he, the, thing. I, I, the thing with, with, with Rashard is if you throw him on IR, you still have to pay him. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So, with three and a half mil? Yeah, it's like yeah, three and a half. Yeah, that, and see, that that's money that we could be spending somewhere else, you know. I mean, I mean, at the linebacker, I, linebacker especially, position? Especially, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I – I was saying this before Denzel Perriman got yeah. uh, traded to us. Like I, I would let go of uh, Rashard just to go get KJ right, but now I don't. I don't even see that happening. Yeah. But we could still go get more depth at that, that yeah. position. I, I think we really do need it. Real quick, what's up, Stu? Say hi. Oh, say hi. How you doing? Hey. What's going on? Is that Miss Swagger? <laughs> Mrs. Swagger, she's on her lunch break, so I just wanted to. She wanted to How say you hi. Doing, real quick. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's a beautiful thing. That's hi. a beautiful. All thing. right, Shout all right, out sweetie. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. <laughs> all right. Let me. Sorry let me about that. So who? No, you good, brother? So, who is your offensive line? We're gonna go. We're gonna go through this real quick. <laughs> uh, see, I see. Mean, it's a, it's a little tough because a lot of these guys, like that's depth pieces, their their name. I, I, it's just like, who are you? Like, I like, know who's not gonna make the roster. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's, do that, let's talk about who's not gonna make the roster. Right. I now. mean, I, I feel like you know our starting offensive line obviously gonna be there. The depth is kind of up in the air. I, I there's a lot of players that could get cut or whatnot. I know that uh, Greg Olson said there's um. There's going to be a good offensive lineman that gets cut or whatnot. I, I don't know who that is. But for sure, Omame might be out of here. Uh, Jared Jones-Smith has been a liability too. Uh, and who is the other guy? Now, I don't know if they're going to cut Lester Cotton, but he hasn't really done much for me to really want him on the roster. But I, I don't know. Uh, those are the two names that I've, yeah. I know for sure is not going to be on this roster. Or they could possibly be. But if I was in the gym shoes, I, I would cut him. Like today, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is facts. All right, on the defensive side of the ball, there has hey, to be hey, I was looking, we carried nine offensive linemen, and I think there's what 13 or 14, so they got a cup four dudes. They might, might yeah. three or four dudes. Mm. I think Samoa pretty much named all of them. You got, yeah. Jones, you got, you got, you got Jones, uh, <laughs> Jones Smith trash, you got um, Lester Cotton, which he may make the roster. Ed Amame, that's what I call him. He moved like a vegetable. He out of there. Oh, um, um, we got <laughs> No mommies. No mommies. Listen, whatever. How and you I don't know Lester how you Cotton, it, you know? Hey, Lester Cotton's only one year out of, out of Alabama, and you might want to give him a little bit more time. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's why I don't think I, they would cut him, but he could be a possibility there on the offensive line. Yeah, Adam Adam in his ninth seen, year. We haven't seen much of him in this preseason, so they might just keep him to see what he can do. So, th so then, okay. So if he makes the roster, then you are you throwing Morrissey on a practice squad? Possibly. How many practice least, squads? We still got, we still got Nick Martin there. Because I love Morrissey. I'm a I'm a big fan of him. Shout out to Sam. Man, he said, "Wait, that's Stuart Swagger." <laughs> I, I I used to be anyways. <laughs> I, I guess I am, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. 
Yeah, man. Shout out to Sam. Hey, man. All right. So, hey, defensive line now. Okay, Co. So we're all pretty much going off the Raider wire, right? Shout out to uh-huh. Raider Wire. Um, basically, at the defensive line, they had Jonathan Hankins at defensive tackle, Solomon okay. Thomas, Quentin Jefferson, Darius Fallon, or Phylon, and Gerald McCoy with Matt Dickerson out, Niall Scott out, and we all know Darius Steels was just cut, which I know he'll probably be reverted back to the practice squad after he clears waivers. Um, what do you think about that? Hankins, Thomas, Quentin Jefferson, Darius Phylon, Gerald McCoy at defense uh, tackle. Stu, go ahead. Hey, real quick, guys, just, just to FYI, they can keep up the 10 guys on the practice okay. squad. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't yeah. sure. Up. For sure. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it was at 10. Teams. Now it's 16 because of COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they uh, keep yeah, 16 okay. guys. Okay. There's going to be a lot of people on the practice squad this year. Well, that's shit, the 53. 53. That's, that's like, they only got a cup. 11 guys, right? Yeah. Officially. Somewhere around there, yeah, uh, and, okay. and I feel like mo- more of the, the most of the younger players are going to be on that that uh, practice squad, that, yeah, that are depth players. So I, I feel like that couple of offensive linemen. So I mean, what, what what do you think about Gary Green and Kendall Vickers going on a practice squad? Because that's what Raiders Wire have. They have Max Crosby, Yannick, Clee, Malcolm Kuntz, and Carl Nassib as defensive ends. With Gary Green and Kendall Vickers going uh, going out of there. I, I can see that happening, but Vickers is a name that could possibly on, be on a roster. Mm-hmm. And ooh. but who who do you who do you who do you move out for him? Because Coops no, no, and I, that's what I was trying to think right now, and I, I I don't think there's anybody right now. Like ah, because you know, like, Coops- unless uh, like unless they cut somebody surprisingly, then yeah. But uh, I think I think that's a solid uh, defensive line, and I mean that shows you how much depth we have on that defensive line now because it's kind of tough like figuring out who would be out and who would be in. Last year, Kendall Vickers would have definitely been on this roster, you know, with the uh, the defensive line that we had last year. Oh, for sure. For but sure. now Kendall, that we got some Kendall, depth there. Kendall Vickers started two games last year. Yeah, he played really well in those two games. Yeah, that he, did play. Yeah, he, had, he had a few sacks too. He no, did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he he, he, was he solid. actually had. I mean, he had five tackles and two sacks on the twenty twenty season. Yeah, and that was in limited. You know what? Like you said, limited. Vickers is going to be on the uh, – he he definitely going to be on the practice squad because uh, Jeremy McCoy going to take that 93. From- <laughs> oh, not that shit. That's going to be the second time he gets number taken, too. <laughs> he definitely wins 93. Shout hey, out thanks, to Sam. Hey. Sam, I appreciate it. Thank you. There you go, man. Hey, give yourself more credit, Stu. Quit talking hey, shit. Hey, you know what? I, I'm with you, man. They need to start uh, um, regulating who's wearing some of these numbers, dude. Bro, <laughs> they, they let Artie keep wearing 99, bro. That's, that's like crazy, college, bro. I get it. College is 120 dudes, but man, some of those numbers, they gotta they gotta keep them You're on the shelf. Weird man. Now. Really weird. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like retiring numbers or like having certain people wear numbers? You know what I'm saying is I think there's some numbers that should be officially retired that another guy can't wear. Oh, and, and like a Raiders uniform, right? Yeah, yeah, in a Raiders uniform, absolutely. But, but but isn't that that the reason why Al Davis didn't want to retire numbers? Because we wouldn't have any more numbers, basically. Yeah. Because he'd be retired. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of numbers that could be retired. Today, numbers bro. That need to be retired. Yeah, think about that. You have to retire every fucking number. People every, every number. But I, but wait, you have to at some point, bro. At least the Hall of oh, Fame yeah. is like, bro. Alex Ellis is wearing Timmy Brown's number, bro. I know 81 should be one. 32, 32, 34, 24, 24. That's tough right there. 24 should have been retired. 11, two. Bro. It's like, what the? uh, Yeah. Shout out to the dope, Marcus Russell. Shout out to the dope. What do you mean? I'm talking about Aaron Brown. My goal is to get. In contact with Jamarcus Russell, I'm gonna get him on on this show or my show. Fuck that! Hey, I'm bringing shit. Jamarcus back. Man, bro, what is Jamarcus Russell Russell doing, back man? The Jamarcus, tackle, I take it, bro. The comment <laughs> section would be fucking insane with Jamarcus Russell on the show, hey, you, bro. Hey, I think you gotta block the the comments, bro, just so. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what, though? To be honest with you, it'd be. I think it'd probably be good for him. I guarantee it, because I guarantee you, he thinks. It's a lot worse than probably what it is. And obviously, when you're really talking to somebody like this, are you really going to like, hey, motherfucker, you suck. You know, you suck. That's, <laughs> that's kind of hard to do, man. Hey, it's easy 
from afar, but hey, shout out to Terrence real quick. He's put Samoans uh YouTube link in there. He's putting uh oh, appreciate it. spotlights, YouTube link, and stews as well. Shout out to Terrence, you are the real MVP king. Appreciate it. Always. Appreciate it, Terrence. Terrence is a hey, my, one, my fault. I know we're talking that. about the roster now, but Samoa, who's some of your favorite Samoan players? Ooh, I like that. Uh, uh, of all time or in rate? Well, there's not a lot of rate. Uh, well, of, yeah, I like it. Oh, uh, hands down, uh, this is the only guy I would ever wear a different jersey other than a Raider jersey, obviously, would be Troy Polamalu. Okay. Um, that's at the top of my list. Obviously. Uh, damn. There, have there been any uh, other ones? Come on. You're There's missing Troy. a big one. I'm not going to. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't a big fan of Seattle when he he played though. To be, like, but but he is he is one of those guys I do look up to. Like now after afterwards or whatnot. Um, Junior Seau. Junior Seau, yeah. Uh, he, he's waiting for you to say. He's waiting for you to say Marcus Mariota. Oh, of course, Marcus Mariota. Well, uh, I didn't know if he. I didn't. I didn't know if he was Samoan or not. Though I know he's from Hawaii. I didn't know if he. Yeah, was actually... he's Samoan. Marcus okay. Tuiasopo. There you I, go. I That's his... what I was waiting oh, for. Oh, yeah, bro. I was going to name him, too, but I was trying to think of – It's going to say Zach, Manti Teo, bro. That's Zach, funny. Zach Tuiasopo. Um, I went out to his wedding. The first Marcus to wear number eight in a Raiders uniform. What's that? The first Marcus to wear number eight in a Raiders uniform. Now we got Mario. <laughs> but I do know a lot of his family member out here, though. That's crazy. All right. Sorry. I, I kind of derailed. Sorry. I just wanted to – Oh, nah, dude, Isaac, Isaac Saponga. He was a close friend of mine. Isaac oh, yeah? Isaac Saponga, the D-tackle oh, the, uh, for the Niners. Yeah, the Niners. I actually met him, too. He's awesome, dude. He is freaking awesome. I played with him at the Senior Bowl, dude. Nicest guy you ever met. He had, at the NFL Combine, he was got to, like, 48, and he's like, all right, I'm done with this, and just rocked it, dude. He's, he's <laughs> freaking I wouldn't doubt it. The Samoans, bro, they are tough. I don't know. They're just dense muscles or what, man, but woo. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, bro, that's yeah, that that's that's the head of the table right there, bro. <laughs> <That's for real. laughs> hey, all right, all right, Peter Colt Brennan too from Hawaii. Yes, I don't know if you know yeah, he passed away. Quarterback, he was a beast. Right? Quarterback. I, yeah, I liked, I, liked him. Mm -hmm. I liked him in college. I was with him in Washington for a little bit. Yeah, he he had he had demons, and unfortunately, they they oh, won. But yeah. he was a beast. Hey, real quick, man! Shout to Nizer. Uh, does Steels count on the practice squad if he clears waivers? He'll be on the IR. Yeah, IR. He'll be on the IR, and he'll be stashed away for the year. So I don't think that counts as a, a practice squad. Uh, no, no, I don't think no, it he'll, does. He'll be on the IR. He'll be on the IR. The yeah, I think they can, I think you can have as many people yeah, as you want on IR, right? Uh, I I don't know that. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Let me, let me look it up. I'll be the stat yeah, guy. Yeah, stat guy. <laughs> uh, that guy's still Franco. Hey, Franco. You with Samoa? Huh? Stu, Franco? Who? Franco, Pittsburgh. Was he was Samoan? Franco Harris? Franco no. Harris? He was not. I think, I think he, he was, was an African American. Part African yeah, American. Nah. I think he's like, I don't know. I think he's mixed with black and Puerto Rican, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that, yeah. Well, oh, to yeah. Tell, to, uh, what's his name? The linebacker? You didn't like him in Seattle, you said? Yeah. Oh, oh, are you talking about Lofa Tatupu? Ooh. Lofa Tatupu, yeah. No, no, I didn't. I was talking, I was talking about Junior Seau. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Someone, someone said hello, Dinata. Nah, he's he's Tongan. Actually, I think oh, Isaac's okay. a poem. Yeah, I think Isaac's a poem. Is, forgive me. I think he might be Tongan. I'm not sure. Forgive me if I. No, no, no. He, no, he's someone. I, okay, somebody said right. in the chat. Oh, hello, okay. Dinata is uh, uh, someone. But... Franco was Italian and black. Juju Ju Ju okay. is someone too. Vita Vea. Franco Harris give you that New York Italian though. I never, I just didn't like him, man. <laughs> I, just, I didn't I like know. him either. Yeah. Hey, Mary Carlos said Juju Smith is a Samoan. Yeah, he, he is though. He's half Samoan. For real? No, you didn't know wow. that. Hell no, I didn't know that. Didn't yeah, know. he's half Samoan, half black. Holy that, shit! And yeah, he's from bro. Long Beach too. He's from Long look, Beach too. Look, yeah, from Long Beach. I know a lot of his family. He's from Poly. Uh, because oh, I went to high school around there. Um. But uh, Lewis Murphy was uh, have some more oh, too. Yep, yep, you're right. Mm. Lewis Murphy. Hey, what, do you think about, what do you think about Tua's little brother at Maryland? I, I haven't I, even watched him, to be honest with you. No. I, I, yeah. They're, they're uh, saying big things he's going to do this year, I guess. But I do think that Tua's going to have a good year this year, though. I think he is, too. I like, I I like Tua. 
I'm hearing right now conflicting hey, reports. Like, and, and, and what's his what's his face? Uh, the, the the guy you wanted in uh, the draft, Jabril Cox, is have someone have have uh, black oh, too. Geez. I found that out in, in at the draft because he actually wore Afakasi. Like it's an Afakasi yeah, on yeah, his yeah. shirt. That means it's, he's half and half. Basically, I didn't know that, bro. when I, I was, was in like, Omaha, we're learning something today. Graphic, we're learning something bro, today, bro. I thought you knew Juju was half small, bro. That's crazy. Bro. How about how about that Gava? You like that Gava? Oh, I know. I, I, I've been. Oh. Oh, I heard it's nasty, but but it gives you a crazy high, or like you get hella buzzed off of it. And one of my teammates in uh, in Omaha, we were coming back from Sacramento, and he brought some Gava with him, and I tried. I I, I tried to. I, it was. It, I don't know. It didn't. It didn't. It gets you fucked up. <laughs> it's supposed to. It's like a. It's like a. It's like yeah, a yeah. Root. It's like, a, like root. it's a root. It's it's nasty as hell. But I heard it gets you fucked up though. Like I need to go find me a gobble man. Hey, that's hey, that's all you. <laughs> that's <not> me. <laughs> that's like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kendrick Bourne is another Samoan too. Kendrick Bourne. I will tell you this: the Samoans are the most friendliest people. If that's a word, but the nicest, friendliest. Strongest, scariest motherfuckers that are around, dude. And loyal. Oh, Olin, loyal. Olin Cruz, and then loyal. you got the um, uh, the Rayola boys. They're from Hawaii. They're not Samoan, but they're crazy as hell. <laughs> yeah, that. that Sorry, they're, they're I sidetracked this whole thing, man. Get back on track. Uh, uh, we gotta get back on track. I like <laughs> this conversation. We never had this one. Shit. Right. Uh, for real, you, learn, you learn who's who's half Samoan, who's not. You know, you know, know. Hey, you know, the rocks have some on us and then and, and uh, yep. have black. Yeah, <laughs> I, I knew that one. I knew, yeah, I knew that one. I just joke. I see somebody's comment. <laughs> hey, real quick, Samo, I got I got a few more positions I want to, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, this is what Raiders Wire has. I didn't agree with them on this. They have Trayvon Mullen, Casey Hayward, Nate Hobbs, Damon Arnett, Keyshawn Nixon, and Amik Robertson. Um, at corner, what I did was I took out Keyshawn Nixon and I added Isaiah Johnson. Um, okay. they, have, they have on the outs, Nevin Lawson, Isaiah Johnson, Bleedy Ray Wilson, which we really haven't seen a lot of him. Nine year vet. I haven't seen really too much of him and Rasul Douglas, which is already gone. Um, who's your starting corners and who, well, we already know our starting corners. Who do you yeah, have yeah. on this roster? Yeah. That, I, I feel like that's the only name that you could kind of like entertain, interchange yeah. is Keyshawn Nixon, Isaiah Johnson, and even mm-hmm. Nevin Lawson. I mean, I feel like everybody else has already earned a spot on this roster or at least, you know, has some years to still prove it. Like Damon Arnett's obviously not gonna go anywhere, no matter how he plays right now. Yeah. Um, we already got uh, Trayvon Mullen, Casey Hayward is gonna be good. Nate Hobbs already earned his spot, and that was a guy when we drafted him. I didn't even think he was gonna make the team, but the way he's been looking in preseason and this offseason, like I definitely think he earned that spot. So, I mean, those are that's the only guys that I would that that could be like interchangeable would just be those three guys. My bad, y'all. If the feed is tweaking a little bit, I'm no, going to go another room. No, you good. All right. Okay. Cool. A- a- am no, I good? A- a- am I good? To be honest with you, like, am I good? No, no you good, bro. You, no, you were good. You, you good. Kind of little bit, how, but you good. How yeah. many guys made? <laughs> <laughs> no, you how? Good. no, no. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading here. I put how many guys make IR, and for some reason, it's coming up with how many guys have the average girl slept with by 20. My girl <laughs> slept with too many guys in the past. <laughs> average number of sexual partners for a woman. So I don't know what I put in here, but that's not what I'm trying to find. <laughs> IR. Let me How see. Guys think? As safeties are easy, bro. Jonathan Abram, Trayvon Merrick, Tyree Gillespie, Carl Joseph. On the outs, Dallin Levitt and uh, Roderick Teamer. I liked how Teamer looked in special. I mean, uh, and during the first two preseason games, though. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Um, let me see. Kojo says the best Raider to wear number 89 is Ronald Curry? Yes, thank you. Uh, you, gotta go, you gotta go, Cooper, man. I, I, as much as I can't stand Cooper, you gotta go, Cooper, bro. <laughs> go Cooper. Three sixty one handed. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know Cooper. I just Ronald Curry, man. He's actually the quarterbacks coach for the Saints right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I I never. Uh, to be honest, I never really watched Ronald Curry like that. Uh, Tight well, end, right? It's, Here's the problem. Them. Here's the problem with Ronald Curry is he blew his Achilles out, his left one twice, and his right one once. He just mm-hmm. had bad luck. But when he came out of North Carolina, dude, he was a quarterback. Plus, he was a starting point guard. Man, him and um, him and uh, Julius Peppers were on that basketball team. Man, mm-hmm. Ronald Curry was just one of the smoothest athletes out there, dude. He was nicest guy too, man. Good dude. 
I do remember that one handed oh. catch against in, in the snow against the donkey. That's though. the only highlight I've seen before, like uh, like on highlight tapes. But what we're we not going to talk about James Jones though. Ooh, okay. okay. <laughs> James Jones did win eighty nine, right? Hey, Bay Boy, Bay Boy. Hey, at the end of the day, look, he was one of the ones that helped DC his rookie year. You know he, did. He, he did. He did. He did. I remember. He was the one that called him Baby A Rod. You know what I mean? So you yeah, know, I think he was a big uh, a big help with DC's development. Uh, coming into the league, but I'm still got to go Amari, man. As much as I can't stand Amari Cooper, come on, y'all. Let's be honest. Amari Cooper is better than Ronald Curry and James Jones. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, James Jones, I can speak for James Jones. He was inconsistent, but, I mean, he was the only, what, uh, the only rookie that we had to uh, get a 1,000 yards receiving yeah. in his first season? Yeah. Oh. Hey, the, oh, NFL, the NFL has allowed unlimited IR guys this okay. year. Okay. Okay. I throw everybody on there. No, I'm just oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would do that shit for sure. Uh, but now, nah, but Cooper was a Pro Bowl guy. You know what I'm saying? First, yeah, he, he did his thing. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. He he had no dog in him, and and you know what I mean. And we let him go for a first rounder. But at the end of the day, bro, he did way more. James Jones' best games are best when he was in Green Bay. That's when he was the most. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day, we got him at the end of his career. So I, I and then didn't Jordy wear 89 too? No, no, nah, nah, he wore 82. 82. 82. Okay, I just want to make sure. I, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Jordy didn't do nothing for us, though. Yeah, <laughs> after, after, yards, injury, he, after he tore his ACL, that was it. Was it. Yeah. 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 That, that was bad. Him and, him and Amari was together. I think he had seven. Yeah, yeah, we had, we had him. Uh, wait, yeah, we had him for a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That was a terrible year. Yeah, Brian, Brian Edwards is probably going to be the guy that could be that guy. We'll see. I like that. Ooh, I for, yes. Brian Edwards will be the best 89. Fuck that. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, he he, he got all the he, he got, he got all the skills to, to do it, man. So I, that's why I'm excited to see him this season, man. Okay, we can say this, l and Jerry Porter's the best 84. I agree. I think okay. still reading. Uh, yeah, I, I I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Absolutely. Jerry Porter other- was nice. Yeah, I love Jerry Porter, man. I mean, it could have been somebody else, but uh, you know, I, know. I know, man. I know. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry Porter had some big games. He had, a, he had a big game in Washington when he took that shot from Sean Taylor when we were we were driving in the fourth quarter, and he got right back up. And then he had a big game in 2007 when we went down to Miami. I think he had three touchdowns down there. Yeah, he would just overshadow because we had Timmy and, and Rice. You know he just like, wasn't. He just wasn't on the that. Team, it's kind of hard for you. To know. He just. He didn't. He just didn't have that quickness. But he was. Dude, he at West Virginia. He played quarterback, safety. He played. He was a guy who could play everything too. He was. He was a good athlete. This is facts. That's facts. Three injured uh, reserve spots. What? What you mean, Raiders? Zach? three injured reserve spots. Because I, I could have swore uh, Stu just said we. You have Stu just said it was unlimited. It, 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 that's what it says. Spots. Let's see. Let me just yeah, make miss, sure. Hey, Sean Taylor was a monster, y'all. Worth noting, as in the past, game. only players on the 53-man roster after cutdown are eligible to be designated for return from IR. Stash is here. So, there, th- so this year, that's any time after 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Kaufman, right? Kaufman they're doesn't... eligible to make – okay, here it is. The NFL just made it official in a memo. Unlimited players can return from a team's injured reserve list Oh, they can return. Okay. They're eligible after missing three games rather than eight weeks. Okay. Okay. So instead of being an IR for eight weeks, you can come back three weeks. So, damn, that's shit. Oh, I see. I, I think I see something that says three three spots, but mm-hmm. unlimited people could come back whenever. I think after a couple of weeks. Three weeks, yeah, and it's usually eight weeks. Yeah. yeah that's the not- route. Napoleon Kaufman, bro. I know Stanford, your guy. I know Stanford. Rod guy. Woodson. Rod Woodson. We, we, we got him at the end of his career. Wait, who did you say was the best number 26? Kaufman. Napoleon oh, Kaufman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Nap was my guy, man. Nap is my guy. Um, what was I going to say? Ace. Damn. Dan McElroy. Oh, shit. Ruben crazy. I thought he was 46. Man. Yeah, he was, right? Who? Cool. Van, Van yeah, I thought it, yeah, I thought it was forty six. That, that ain't twenty six. Charlie Gardner, oh shit, you twenty five? No, Charlie Gardner wore twenty six. I think twenty five. I think twenty five. Gardner, I think. I thought, yeah, I think see. Gardner twenty five. Yeah, I don't think he's twenty six. 
stand for a root. Stand for a root. Stand for a root. <laughs> I know that's your Yeah, dog, he was 25. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 25. Yeah. And I, I think we were talking about Charlie Garner because then he went and I think he got hurt against us on that Monday night game, and that was the end of his career. I think he blew his knee out when he was playing us uh, in 2004, I want to say. It was a nasty injury too, boy. Ooh. Damn, bro. I was going to ask. Vargas wore 25. Justin Fargus? Justin mm -hmm. Fargus, 25. He yeah. wore he wore twenty five and twenty. Oh, Darren McFadden. I think he. I think he had twenty. I think he put twenty on after after twenty five. He was a tough running back, dude. Yeah, I that think guy McFadden was twenty. The what? Did they switch? Okay, did he switch it? Let's see. Hey, Gardner's in bad shape now. What, what, what you mean, Leonard? I, I haven't heard anything. Oh yeah, the best twenty five is Belitnikov. That's facts. Oh Ooh. shit! Yeah. Yes. That's just that's that's, that's hands shout, down. Yeah. Shout out to George, bro. Yeah, that's that's easy peasy right there, bro. Belitnikov. He had uh, Eric Harris. Denard <laughs> <laughs> Walker. Denard <laughs> <laughs> Walker. <laughs> <laughs> LSU. You can't right put Belitnikov and Eric Harris in the same sentence, man. I almost, <laughs> I almost I deactivated the YouTube account, bro. <laughs> About life, about this shit. I'm out. <laughs> My Michael Bush. Our best, uh, best thirty four is 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 Bo. Oh yeah, definitely Bo. Lamar yeah, Jordan, come on, man. <laughs> Lamar Jordan. Hey, Lamar was nice on Madden. Yeah, yeah, no, Lamar, he was though. He was a he was a, he was a different cat, dude. He was uh he liked to kind of do his own thing, man. He'd get a limo by himself and go gambling. I don't know where the hell he would go and just show up in the morning for practice. <laughs> Ooh. You said Lamar? Uh yeah. He was out Lamont. There. Sorry. Lamont. What am I talking about? Lamont Lamont Jordan. Am I saying am I saying Lamar Jackson? Lamont Jordan. That's why I was like, who are you talking about? Bro, he said DJ Hayden. Nah, watch. We ain't doing that, bro. Oh no. no he said the worst number 25 was oh, DJ Hayden, right? oh well, no, that's yeah. what Justin said. That shit is hilarious, bro. Now, that's kind of tough. I think it's Harris. Ooh, look at this. Speaking of speaking of Fargus, he's putting one on Troy. Ooh, Ooh. Boy. Mm. Hey, I never seen that picture around. They he probably got raced Troy that. on some skates. <laughs> what? Hey, take a picture of that and send it to me. Why, why they got to do my cousin oh, like that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey you know wait, this wait. though. You know he he come in, but he had a lot of where he, he hit nothing. Yeah. You know, you know who Darren McFadden was supposed he was supposed to be the next best thing smoking, and then he ended up being like a Latavius Murray. Like yeah, did he do anything? Well, at least oh, Latavius Darren Murray McFadden? still got a job in his league, you know. <laughs> bro, man, I, it, it, are you talking about Darren McFadden? Yeah. yeah. Bro, he he was nice, bro. The injuries really derailed him though. I, yeah, I seen him at the liquor store out here a few months back, bro. For real? He was buying hella shit. Yeah, he, I, was like, I was like, "Did you just get a DUI? Like, didn't didn't the police just find you in the car?" Seat? I'm like, did he? Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he get you anything? Oh, he bought hella shit. He didn't buy you anything? Oh no, hell no! I oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it was funny. He seen all my Raider tats and shit. I knew he looked at me like, "Damn, he gonna say something?" Because I, I met McFadden. I met I met him in L.A. at the Beverly Center a few times. So like, you know what I mean? Okay. So he used to be at the bar at the Beverly Center all the time, drinking down at the bottom, the bottom. I said, like, damn, this motherfucker always down here drinking. Dang, I, I like him now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that, hey, I'm not going to lie. That was the first authentic jersey I ever bought was a Derek McFadden jersey. Shit, that was the only great player we had for a while. Six one, 222 out yeah. of Little Rock. Yeah. Four he, but he, had, he had foot problems at Arkansas, too. We should have knew when we drafted him. Man, I was excited, bro. We had Derek Fadden and Jamar Castro. That should have been a duo right there. <laughs> real. No, no, I'm real. Like when we when we got those, I was like, bro, I'm so excited. High school, bro. I said, we were excited about. I said, you guys better watch out. We got a dynamic duo over here. Hey, listen this. to this. <laughs> listen to this. So he, uh, McFadden was a two-time Heisman Trophy finalist, Walter Camp Award winner. Two-time Doak Walker Award, Jim Brown Trophy, two-time SEC Offensive Player of the Year, two-time Consensus All-American, three-time first-team All-SEC. That's crazy. That's a pretty good career. That's yeah, crazy. in college, yeah. That was good. Hey, let me ask y'all this. Hey, hey, let me ask y'all this. Does Ruggs, at the end of his career, does he top Bass 
as the best uh, number eleven nah. Raider. No. No. Nah. Okay. Even, even, I, I, I do expect some big things from Rugs this year, but like, uh, what did you call it? Um, what's his face? Uh, C Bass. Oh, we're forgetting. C Bass. He already earned that spot, bro. Like yeah. he's been with the team for the longest. I think he's what the. I think he scored the most points as a Raider. So ever, ever. I oh, mean, yeah, right. or ever. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think Seabass is definitely gonna be that number eleven for sure. But I mean, Rugs could put in work though. But I, unless Rugs can be the speedy Tim Brown for us for years to come, but and we win a Super Bowl or something like that with him. But other than that, I don't, I don't see him uh, being that guy. I was surprised. I looked. At, I like to look up their uh, f- um, combine stuff. For a little dude, man, that dude has some freaking monster ass hands, man. I was like, holy smokes, dude! And he he tested out really good. I know that's why Al fell in love with him. Fast with them big ass hands. It was that forty speed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, did you guys ever play Arkansas uh, in college, too? I, I know you guys are in different divisions. You, you guys ever get a chance to play them? No, we never played Arkansas. Um, the we played Georgia, Washington State, Washington. And Washington, as far as non-conference. Oh, okay. I mean, like bowl game, like big yeah, yeah, non-conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played Wake Forest and Arizona, uh, Bowling Green, like the Mac schools. I think that was it. I think hey, was real it. quick, I always do this. I'm gonna stop real fast, y'all. Everybody, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to all the channels. Samoan Raider, Spotlight, Stu. Uh, over here, man, hit that subscribe button for all of us, man. It means a lot. It helps our channels out tremendously. Uh, real talk. Hey, Simone, when are you dropping your next video, brother? I know that uh, Spot oh, today. about to drop. Huh? Today. Mine's Later already on. dropped already. Hey! hey you already drop? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm about to check that shit out immediately. Simone, you said, what, what, what you got going on today, bro? What you dropping? Uh, just, just my pregame uh, preview for the, the game. Are you doing the live? I'm, are you doing the live for the game as well? Yeah, yeah. Probably during the game. Like, I mean, not during the game, but before and after the game. Okay. I, I know you're going to go live during the game, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there, but either way, bro, you already know. Look, I, I could pop in, though, like, uh, just to... Yeah, yeah I'll be live for the game as well. We both... Well, I'll pop in for Doc's yeah, week, too. I'll pop in on yours. We could pop in together and just and just go live together. See what I'm saying? We're just from each other's channel. It don't really matter. You know how we do. I don't hey, guys. Go ahead. Hey, guys, here you go. Uh, total points. Seabass is number one with 1,799. The next closest... Is George Blanda with eight sixty three? So Seabass is almost up by a thousand points. Jeez. And then Chris Barr, Jeff Yeager, Tim Brown is number five. Marcus Allen, Fred Belitnikoff, Cliff Branch, Clem Daniels, and Pete ben- Benansack, and they are the top ten. Oh, okay, where's Derek Carr at? But touchdowns, Tim Brown leads it with one hundred and four. Oh yeah. Hey Jeff Jeter was my guy. That was my guy back in the day. Jeff Jager, kicker. Mark oh. Van Egan, 39. Todd Christensen, 42. Tyrone Wheatley. Okay. God damn. Jerry bro. Porter. Darren McFadden's 26. Mm. James, Michael Crabtree. My bro, my arm is killing me, bro. Is it? Yeah, that shit killing me. <laughs> I didn't have any side effects. For real? Oh, your My arm. Oh, you got vaccinated? Oh, you got the, what you got? You got the vaccination, Docs? You got, you, so you got the pow, wife, pow. So, so my wife, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, got can you, you got you, me? got you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. My my wife was gonna do it, and I told her I wouldn't allow her to do it if I if I was I only did it because my wife was gonna do it. I said I have to get it first. I was like, because I'm not gonna allow you to do something. I said, fuck it, we going out, we going out together with a bang. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? Right to the so, wheels hey, fall off. I feel it. So boom, got the got the joint on, man. Hey, That's right cool. on the radio logo too, bro. Hey, it's, it's the old raggedy ass Raider logo right here, though. This <laughs> is this this the 15 year old uh, jailhouse uh, Raider tattoo. So I guess the right. updated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, feel I think, it. Oh, yeah, but yeah. The arm is killing me. Yeah, I got the Pfizer. Then it facts. Um, is, is that the one that was uh, approved or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's supposed to be the one that has the, the least amount of side effects on it. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Jeff J. All right, man. Hey, tonight I have a show, you guys, with The Violator. Um, uh, I'm going to check that out for sure, bro. Yeah, he'll be definitely on tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, um, 7 o'clock Pacific time. Um, I can't wait for that, man. My guy just got, you know, this our guy, he just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, fan Hall of Fame for yes, Fan Hall of Fame, man. We want to talk about that. 
is, go ahead, brother. Is the Fan Hall of Fame in Canton? How does that work? Yep, it's in yeah. Who 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 how, who who decides that? The fans or no 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 I think they pick right they yeah the hall picks and then uh, the fans the vote fans, the, the fans, fans vote who yeah. go into it they pick like four or five people mm-hmm. from different teams and then they uh the fans pick who who goes in but I think this year they did it different they had all of them go in whoever the finalists were yeah I will say this I don't know in the new age if I like how much percentage do the fans get on voting. I don't know, but I knew we can vote every. I voted every day for. Uh, for <clears throat> what about like the Pro Bowl? <clears throat> uh, I, I hate know. the Pro Bowl voting. I hate it. Can the fan? Do the fans still have like a? It was a third, wasn't it? It was like coaches, yeah. players, and then another, right? Isn't it more than that? Isn't it like a fifty-fifty? I think. Yeah, I think the fans take majority of the votes when it comes to the Pro Bowl. It's more well, like okay. So yeah, that's just that. so that's just a that's turning into just a joke now. Yeah, but it means a lot, dude. Like Pro Bowl is like everything when you go into contract negotiations, man. Like mm-hmm. that's huge. Hey, hey, Nizer wants to know, Stu, have you posted your NFL montage yet? You haven't. Not yet. Yet. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, after we get done here, I do want to get with you and just yeah. help me. I want to maybe go live and just to see if I can get things working or not. So if you guys, Stu, want to stop in or whatever, come, come on tonight with me with, uh, with Violator as well, man. Why don't you all come on my show? We can do both. <laughs> We're gonna be competing for fans now, man. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me, bro. Hey, man. Shout out to you, you guys, man. Thank you, my brothers. I know it's early, man. Um, I just wanted to do a coffee and combo. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are on the. We're, we're everyone on the west I'm coast. On the east coast. It's twelve oh, thirty-seven. It's no, twelve thirty-seven yeah, on the east Texas, coast. Texas, Philly, Indiana, Cali. Oh, we got the, okay. We got the whole. Blah, 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 the whole going. Bang bang, man. Yeah. Wait, who's Indiana? Uh, Stu. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I thought I don't know why. He's, a, he's on the actual Purdue uh, campus. He, he has, yeah, he has a house out there. Oh, right on, right on. We all actually we open up the season with Oregon State, and I've been in contact with um uh, uh Stephen Jackson. That's so, okay. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Anyway, Stephen hey. Jack, we came out together, man. We had good battles, dude. I met him at Zach Crockett's football camp, and he was like a he was like a preppy black dude drinking Coors Light, and I'm like. Man, let's go. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, he's cool as hell. Hey, have you got your itinerary for Vegas yet, bro? Has the Raiders sent it to you yet or what? No, I don't have it yet. What, bro? You still ain't got it? I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think I think Al's just trying to find the right G6 uh, jet to come pick me up. Or, uh, Al, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to figure out which Raider <laughs> S who wants to have escort me back to Vegas. <laughs> You still be, uh, be, hey, no, be, we got to get Antaj on. Antaj wants to come on. Let's, let's I want to get you guys introduced to Antaj Hawthorne, what, what, um, who I played with from Wisconsin, D tackle. Whenever you're ready to do it, bro, it's all yeah. good, man. It's all good. Well, I'm, I'm gonna bring you on tonight, regardless. I'm gonna send you the link for that for the violator show. I appreciate you guys, man. My wife needs, appreciate to, use it, bro. The light. She needs to use the light, she got something going on right now. But I appreciate you guys, my brothers, as always, man. Thank you. One more time, Nation. Thank y'all for showing up in the comment section full force as you always do. Go subscribe to my three brothers right here. Samoan Spotlight put on great shows. My brother Stu, man. His YouTube is about to be on the come up. Support our guys, man. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys, man. One more time, man. You already know what it is. Raiders! 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 Raiders!